Before we start the show, Beautiful People Connect, our community invites you to take a quick second to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. You will be able to get notices and be the first to see our new content. As a subscriber to our channel and community, we invite you to like and share our content with your family, friends, and colleagues. Welcome to the Beautiful People Rise Up channel, and most of all, thank you for joining us. Now let the show begin. to Beautiful People Connect, where we connect with beautiful people who are making a positive difference in the world. I'm Chastity Rice, CEO and founder of Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. We have a new theme for our show, and we are excited about it. It is the story, the rise, the prize. Beautiful People Connect is sponsored by Creator Entertainment, nonprofit 501c3 organization, Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc., and Inspire Me Yama, LLC. Now I'm going to turn it over to Yama of Inspire Me Yama to set the atmosphere on fire with some motivation. Yama. Hi, Chastity. Thank you so very, very much. I am so excited about tonight and what all this particular session has to offer. I am really excited. Tonight, we want to just open up our atmosphere and set the tone for who you really are. You know, here on Beautiful People Connect, we believe in supporting you and believing in you and where you wanna go with your life and what you wanna do with your life. So tonight we say, we support you in this way. You are strong, you are mighty, you are amazing. Everything you put your hands to do, it is successful. The ground is fertile for your success. So everywhere you go, everything that you touch, Everything that you believe you can do, you can do it. And we support you in that. Just believe in yourself. Believe that you are the kings and queens that you were created to be. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Never doubt who you are. We believe in you. I'm going to give it back over to Chastity Wright today. But just know that you are the kings and queens that you were created to be. Walk in that. Walk in it. Chastity. Awesome, thank you so much, Yama. Before we introduce our special guest tonight, who I am so excited about, I want to share with you the history of Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. was established in 2020 during the global pandemic. The concept was inspired by the new single, Beautiful People, by myself, Chastity, a recording artist of Creator Entertainment and Records. Although Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. is a newly established nonprofit 501c3 organization, our team has worked for over 40 years combined, serving others using our gifts, talents, abilities, and personal resources to impact individuals, communities, and corporate businesses. Our mission is simply to create innovative, positive content and experiences through our services, productions, events, entertainment and media that elevates and motivates people to become productive assets to their local, national and global communities. Our vision is to create a beautiful world where diverse people rise up together and share their unique gifts, talents and influence to make the world a better place. Our motto is we honor humanity. Our tagline is aim higher, A is for action, I is for inspiration and M is for motivation, higher. Our slogan is connect, charge, and let's rise up to light the world together. Now, to our special guest. Like I told you, I'm so excited to have him on. He has an amazing story and a passion uh, for what he does. Our guest today is an international guest from the country Sierra Leone in West Africa. He moved to the United States and started his own brand and services in the fitness industry. Without further ado, I would like to introduce the founder of Wakato Fitness and Fitness Wear, Mr. Abbas Cargo. Abbas, how are you today? 
Yeah, I'm doing great. I am so excited to be here. Thank you, beautiful people connect to bring me into this platform. I'm really, really excited to be here. Thank yes. you for having me. Absolutely. And welcome again. Like I said, we are so excited. And so I want to start off by asking you a question that only you can answer in depth, which is who is a bass and what is your personal mission and vision? Yes. Abbas, <laughs> this it's it's a name that is given to me by my dad, and it means a lion, and I, I'm a Leo, I also, and uh, it just connects with the the drive that I have in me. Every time someone say Abbas, where did Abbas come from? You know, I just try to make up that, and just for them to see how sense it makes for the drive that I have, you know. And uh, I was born in West Africa, Sierra Leone, as you say, and uh, I, I came from a big family. And my dad has three wives and we're 21 in numbers as well. And 19 alive. Yeah, I've already been in two civil war, uh, gets the drive to come over here to pursue my mission and vision that I've had, which is, uh, I believe that everyone should have a fit and healthy lifestyle. You know, that's why I'm making my mission, you know, bringing fitness awareness and self-motivate is what I do, you know, and helping people to achieve it. That's who I am. It's all, it's, it's my lifestyle. So been doing in this journey, is just, it's just a privilege for me to be able to actually expand my hands when I know really that I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm capable of helping people to see the things that they don't think is there. I'm really excited. Wow. Um, that is absolutely amazing, Abbas. I mean, your energy, it comes through in your tone. And I am absolutely positive that when you are have your the people that are working out with you, oh my goodness, I know they're energized and ready to go just by you leading them and, and being there with them in the grind to get it done. That is beautiful. I love that. Um, I wanted to ask, who or what inspired you to be a fitness industry entrepreneur? Oh, and what? I can say it's, it's awakening, you know? Sometimes we can see someone and say, hey, this is the person that made me get into a fitness industry or this is the person that get me into a model, you know? But sometimes when you know that it comes within you, and uh, it's just that you never knew until there's a time that you actually know, oh, I've been doing this thing all my life. So this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And just get that awareness, it makes you now look for people that you said, okay, I know this is the path that I'm going. So you're already there. I'm going to hold on to you. Why should I take the right? You know, that's how I would put it like. And uh, that's why I'm so excited since I'm all in on to the people that I know that they have the vision and they have the knowledge of the journey all on to them. Why I try to all on to others that can take for me as well. It's the line that I'm building in my life. I'm really excited. I am. Awesome. So Abbas, describe your experience in the fitness industry. Experience. It's a good word, you know, but uh, I can say what my biggest experience in the industry is, it's all about the hats when they talk about fitness industry. You can have every type of things that people want, but the main thing that we actually need is building a heart. When you build your heart and your mind during that process, the body is all a gift. So, in the industry, with my own pitch, I like to be out there and tell people, it's not about just going to the gym. It's about you moving your body and get some variation that you're gonna be doing daily that are not gonna be hard for you. So you can know that this, uh, this is something that's actually gonna be part of you. If the industry actually focus on that, something that kind of light load for people to do, I believe everyone will have the fit and healthy lifestyle that they deserve to have in this world. 
Wow, that, that's, that's a whole new way of looking at it. And I think that is great the way that you put that together because a lot of times I know for myself when I work out, I have relapse, but if I understand it the way that you just put it, it works together well and it keeps you focused. I love that that mindset about it. Um, what is the significance of your brand name, Juan Cato? <laughs> Juan Cato. It's actually a, a native language, my native language, which is Timini. It means uh, big brother in the sense it's just a name that anyone that is helping big brother, the role of a big brother is helping the little one to come up, you know, and uh, it just makes sense to me using it. And I've been called by that name with my friends that we actually go to college. And then when, when I get the awakening that this is the path that I've chosen, and then the name just comes and uh, I was like, okay, you were already been there long since ago. Let me just put you back there. And that's why I put it, anyone that actually be part of uh, my fitness uh, group, Facebook, you are a one quarter. You are someone that's gonna be a big one for the others that does not get the knowledge that you're gonna be acquiring in our group. Yes. I love it. Awesome. So Abbas, can you share with our audience one of the life lessons you've learned that empowers you to stay driven? Life lesson. This one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's one is discipline and uh, consistency. Uh, like I said, I was raised up in a big family, and uh, there's a lot of competition sometimes within the little ones and the big ones, you know. And those things will actually get you sometimes to look yourself like you're down. And uh, if you know that, hey, I'm, I'm just going to be doing my own thing with my own pace, you know, it's not going to be harder for you to actually do what you're supposed to be doing, you know, but when you get all those things and uh, you see the gap without knowing that that gap can be filled so easy just by doing it, what you're supposed to be doing, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to make sense in that way. That's why. And what is the question again? I need to get that question clear. Oh, yeah, so just, um, and I think you've answered it. Can you share with our audience one of the life lessons, you know, something that you learned that helps you to stay empowered and helps you, helps you to stay driven? Just something you learned. It could have been something from your mom or, and you, you kind of just said, or, or, or someone in your family. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I will just get the lesson for my dad. Uh, it's... It's a good and good. It's a good and clear one. Uh, there was a time that I have a problem with one of my friends that stays in my house, you know. And then I was so mad. I I choose not to get mad in my life, and I choose to stay positive in my life. I came from a family, a, a huge family, in a, a, a civil war country where I see things there. I don't wish for no one to see. I experience and go through a situation that I don't wish for no one to go through. And those are all things that makes you sad or makes you cry. And I choose not to take to that path ever in my life. You know, that's why I choose the, the good path. There was that part that comes out when my dad was there and then he noticed that I was mad at the guy and tell the guy to leave. He called me and said, today, you have something. Tomorrow, that person that you're seeing like they're down, they might be the one that's trying to bring you up. You say, don't look at people and judge them because of who they have at that present. You say, never do that. Since then, it just gave me an awakening that I cannot do nothing in this life trying to be on top of people. I have to always hold on with people's hands to go up or all people's hands to come up. Wow. And that lesson has taught me all my life. It, it's, it is putting me in a drive that I'm happy to be and I'm happy all the time. Anyone that is around me feel the vibes and uh, like to be there because that's all I give. I, I don't have another thing to give. <laughs> that's all I give. 
<laughs> oh, that is awesome. That that is that's awesome, uh, Abbas. I mean, I've met you before, and your energy was just like it is now. And it was a couple of years ago when I met you, and still just amazing. You know, um, just amazing the energy that you have. We are. I can take lessons from that because sometimes I allow my day to dictate my energy, but you, from what you just said and how I met you, your energy is on the level of positivity. And that right there is contagious. I love it. I love it. I love it. And thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. Um, I understand that you have a three-step success system and wanted to know what is the philosophy um, behind your three-step success system and how did it transform your life? Oh, uh, it transformed my life right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know it, it will transform anyone's life. It's the three Ps, I call them three Ps, uh, physical and personal and professional. You know, it's the awards, they means a lot. It's things that we can actually work on ourselves, you know, a lot of people focus on doing things outside for other people, you know, they are necessary. They are composed, we have to do them because we have to take care of ourselves. But the only thing that we can work on consistently that we're gonna give us value and advance, it's ourselves. it's we. So if we take three aspects of our life and just break it down a little, little by piece, your physical, which is you try at least 30 seconds or 30 minutes workout a day, you know, or three times a, day, a, a week. You just choose that. And in personal, you, you make sure you check on your family. You be nice to your family. You be nice to your people. And professional, whatever business that you want to do for the rest of your life, you work on it a little by little, piece by piece. You don't want to make it heavy so you can bond out. You can't do it. No, but you just put it within your schedule and then do your work little by little, and then you will see how it changed. And that is the science behind the theory that I've used in all my life. And it's growing and it's still growing. So that's why I'm really, really excited. And when it's growing this way, I'm able to actually try to expose it to other people and, and get the awareness for them as well to know that it's possible. You know, it can be, you just have to choose one path, you know. I use a smile as an activation. I smile all the time. People say, why do you smile? I was like, it's the fastest way for you to be happy. <laughs> yes. No, that's beautiful. And, and more people need to smile, you know, and the reason why you can smile is because you've made a decision that you're going to be happy, you know, in spite of all the things that you've been through on your journey. Like you said, hey, I've been through a civil war or two. And, you know, I, I've seen these things that, I wouldn't want anybody else to ever see. And you made, you're making, and you made a conscious decision to say, hey, I'm going to smile. And it radiates through you. You have a very, you know, um, great energy. And I don't know if you guys know, but Abaz is in my beautiful people music video. So that's, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, he came out and supported uh, the event. He even had, you. I think you have like a cameo shot in my music video where you like, doing the glasses and everything, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. So, yeah, yep. he, he had a chance to hang out with us a couple years ago with the Beautiful People uh, music video. But Abbas, yep. who, who is your target audience for your products and services? Do you have a certain group that you target or do you target everybody or who, who is your ideal client? Oh, my ideal client, as you see, one quarter. It's not, it's not a, a target of specific people. My target is everyone, everyone that have interest in the fitness industry, even if you don't, I believe that if you join the group, you will be because you will get an awakening of actually what the definition of health is or what the definition of getting fit is. You know, when you know that it's not how they describe you or how they put it out there, you know, uh, internet, uh, uh, social media type of body type of something, when you know that millions of people that does not look at the shape of their body, they just look at how they feel, 
they are out there working with other people, organizations that are doing the same thing, you will come out of there and then you will do it. My target is everyone that actually have interest in fitness that wants to have a, a positive lifestyle that doesn't want to go back home and start gossiping about other people or be mad at work that always know, let me give this out. You know, I always give this out to my clients and I want people to know that we are hundred percent responsible for the way we feel. No one has any in it. It's we, we have that responsibility. It's, it's, it's gonna come from within, it's not outside. If you want to cry, you will cry. If you don't wanna cry, you will not cry. So by you just knowing that and you stop saying that it's because of this person that I make this, or it's because of you that are making me feel this way, or it's because of, oh, it's because of something that if you always said, oh, it's, it's because of me, you'll be able to solve the problem really quick. But when you put it on someone else, then you always have that in, in you that hangs up. It won't go down. So don't, when you put that responsibility on yourself, you'll be able to take that. You'll be able to take action in it instantly. So what I do with that aspect, I make it as an alarm clock. Whenever I get mad, I will ask myself a question. Why did I get mad? Because I wasn't supposed to get mad. This is not me. And uh, immediately when you ask yourself those questions, it will give you the reason why you get mad. It will not work on the stimulus. The stimulus is the words that we put around the things that we're trying to say. And then when you, when you, when you get the answer, you will definitely go to what you want instead of just going to the things that you don't want. You know, I always use it as an alarm clock. That's why when people say, you don't get mad, I was like, because I know when the moment my heart started rising up, I asked him a question, it goes back down. It's not supposed to be there. You can do the same as well. You can choose not to, you know, and uh, I just want to give that out. It's, it's a lot that's going to be in the, in the group. And uh, I'm excited to share a lot and with the journey with whoever that wants to be here. But I would love everyone to be there because it's beneficial for all of us in this world, you know. Abbas, I must say, your wisdom is amazing. You are a very, a very wise young man. Thank you. And our audience is truly being blessed today by your wisdom. I really am, I am so happy that you're here with us today. I really am. Um, thank you. I am happy as well. <laughs> <laughs> well what was the turning point, um, the turning point in your life that challenged you to transform and get serious about your business, about a boss's business? Yes. <laughs> uh, the immediate one, I can say COVID. I don't know if people say that that much, but COVID has been a turning point for, uh, for me. And I know a lot of people will say it there as well. You know, we were doing what we used to do, what we had, what we think we had to do, but most of us doesn't know how to do it the fast way or how to do it within. We just know how to do it outside. COVID get us to be in the house. COVID get us to think, you know, COVID get me to think and get outside. I get outside and then I started running. I get outside and started running. Mm -hmm. I run every time, every day. And I run every day when people are in, inside, when they say shut down, I was out there running and I have no idea. I just like running. It gets me to think and started thinking about my life and uh, my business, the things that I have to put together it get me to work on myself because the most important thing in my life is to help people to get to the path where they want to be in their life. And that's actually what excites me. And then I was like, okay, then the only way I can do that is by working on myself. Myself is the business with this one quarter. And I've been doing that till now. Thanks to COVID a little bit more. <laughs> awesome, awesome. 
And um, Abbas, can you share with us um, your group? I'm, I'm interested in, in joining your Facebook group. How can, how can people join that? Um, uh, that's, I, I know it might be recording hours. If they can, we can put it on the link down. Okay. You can put it on the link down. I can send it to you and put the link down so they can just go through the link and then and, and they will be able to answer some questions because the group is, it's, it's a private group. It's okay. not for, it's people that actually wants to do the thing. So anything that's going to be happening in there, it's not going to be outside. It's, it's really private and, and monitor, you know. So I'll put it, the group down in the, in the video link so they can just click and go through there. Okay, awesome. Now I do have another question for you, Abbas. How do you balance your personal fitness goals and keep your clients motivated at the same time? Because I know that takes a lot of energy. So how do you do it? I know, <laughs> I know, right? It's <laughs> a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy. This is, I have five hours of sleep. Wow, you sound like Five me. hours of sleep. <laughs> and then I wake up very, 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 very energetic, healthy. And I have all the good words that I have to tell, tell, tell myself. And then go to work, make sure I do the production. And after that, I come home, take a shower, go to the gym. I have to train people. After training, maybe a session, and then I'll do my workout during the same process. I just came from work. I'll do my workout and then come back home. And then I ask myself, where did I get this energy? <laughs> I get this energy through running. I get it through running. I started running little by little. Sometimes a mile, sometimes two miles. I just like just going out and run and come back, run and come back. And there was a time that I started running with no effort. And uh, I was like, what's going on? It's, it's just, I have to Google it. <laughs> and that's when I know that, oh, I've, I've reached a, a stage of zone stage in running or oh, most of the athletes and uh, professional athletes already went through that zone stage. You know, I, I noticed that, okay, that was where I like, so I can run. And then I started running. I just did 11 miles before I actually even come here. It's, it just makes me think clearly. It just makes me, uh, it gives me knowledge in a way that the way I push myself is the same way I want to actually help people so they can know that it's not pushing that I was doing. I was just consistently breaking that little cycle. And then I'm in a place now where the little cycle that I'm breaking, it looks like I'm breaking a big one, but it's the same pace that I've been using all the time. It's just, I've been doing, I've been doing it that long period of time. That's why. Wow. wow. That is the secret. That's great. That's awesome. 11 miles. What stood out to me was 11 miles. And yeah, right. like a 11 miles, 11 miles. <laughs> I had talked to you about 11 miles. That is great. And breaking the cycle. Mm -hmm. And breaking the cycle. I can definitely say that for my life, that's, 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 my, that's what keeps me going. Breaking the cycle. That's what keeps me going. Um, you know, a lot of times we get stuck in a cycle and we can't see the forest for the trees. And we do have to do whatever that is to help us or that, that reminds us that we are, we need to come out of this vicious cycle, you know, and as you say, running does that for you, helps you, help, helps you think clearer and, and get the clarity that you need. I think that is very awesome. Um, I have a, my last question for you is what advice um, would you give someone, give to someone who um, wants to get started in any aspect of the fitness industry, like personal trainer, fitness wear, or a trainee, someone who wants to join and, and follow you and allow you to assist them to reach their goals? All right. Well, I'll tell you, join the group. <laughs> and, and then the other i would tell you start on yourself that one is more important you know start on yourself it doesn't it doesn't matter what the the messages are out there the videos that are out there you can watch them a million times you will not be those people 
you know, but you can get motivation from them and then start on your steps, start working on yourself. Even a personal trainer, I tell you, you have to go through the journey. You cannot just learn about the movements and then don't go through the journey. And then you go stand there and then want to tell someone else to do it. You don't even know how that person is going. What is that person going through during the break stage? Like what's, you just read it in a book. You won't be able to help them the way you want to help them, you know, advise trainers to actually work on yourself first, you know, work on the journey, prove it to yourself and see how it works. And then, so make sure you do it in a way that is not harmful, some out of danger. And then that's when you'll be able to actually help other people because you know, you did it without any danger, without any injury, because you did it, you do it the right way. Is by you knowing your body parts. Is by you knowing what you're doing. And uh, for people that want to train as well and uh, that wanted to start training, I'll give you this for free. Start walking. Just walk. Walk for 30, sec- uh, 30 minutes. Walk for one day. The next day, check the time that you walk for. And then see if you can break that time. Maybe two minutes and uh, half. No rush. Just do it. And then do it the third time. And if you can break that time as well, it's all auditing. When you heard it, what you're doing, you will see it grow. When you see it grow, you want to do more. If you don't see it grow, you will be disappointed. And then other things will just come in your mind. You start thinking, man, this is not working. When you say it's not working, you're going to have all the proof and answer towards that. That's all you're going to be seeing. And it's not going to work for you. So that's why you break it. You just make it. You don't go too far so you can be too exhausted. Set a goal and do it. Repeat on that goal in three times. Making four times, I promise you, you will pass through that goal because your mind will tell you that you're capable of doing it and your heart will be ready to do the job and the body will just follow. That's how it goes, you know? So that's my advice that I will give today. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, Abbas, we just want to thank you so much for taking time out to come on Beautiful People Connect. We love your story. We love your inspiration. We love your motivation. And we celebrate what you're doing. And we definitely will put a link um, in, um, you know, in the comment section um, on uh our YouTube channel, uh, or actually descriptions. I mean, they can make comments, but on in the description section to uh, let people know how to get in touch with you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you were inspired by this event, we invite you to like and follow us on social media at BP Rise Up. That's B P R I S E U P. That that can be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Beautiful People Rise Up. You can also follow us on Eventbrite at Beautiful People Rise Up. We do list our upcoming events on our website, which is www.beautifulpeopleriseup.org. Now, we also want to thank um, all the people who gifted Beautiful People Rise Up with donations, our media Content, events, and outreach empowerment services are made possible by donations. If you would like to partner with us to make the world a better place by creating positive and innovative content and services, you can make donations on our website at www.beautifulpeopleriseup.org. Now, we do want to thank all of our global viewers for tuning in to Beautiful People Connect today. We hope that you were inspired and most of all motivated to action in your own lives. You have something special to give to the world. So hopefully you stand up and stand out to make a positive impact on other people. Until next time, connect, charge, and let's rise up to light the world together. Have a beautiful day, beautiful people. Thank you. Thank you.